Hey guys, 4.0 liter Ford head. I figured before we throw them in the garbage pile, we should uh, do a couple airflow experiments with them. So I thought about this on my ride home from work, which is only a few minutes, by the way. Why wouldn't I take these and take that nice burr finish and polish it out? Well, I haven't polished a port since the 80s, I don't think. And uh, now I realize why I don't miss it at all. It's, it's horrendous. The amount of time it takes. And uh, so you'll see it's not a perfect polish everywhere because I got sick of working on it. So I did polish it. It's, you know, a lot of guys, I mean, in the early 80s, 80, well, actually more like the late 80s, the late 80s, I was polishing these things like a mirror. And they ran good, but as I found out later, they could be really, really rough and ran even better. But I said, you know what, we're going to polish this out, and we're going to throw it on the bench and see what uh, what kind of flow gains we get. Now remember, that entire port got bigger. In order to take out all the little, the little divots from the burr, you have to make it considerably bigger. So when you're polishing it out with a, a sanding roll, it's going to take you a long time. Usually I finish it with a, like a stone first, but I didn't want to do that because I wanted to take out minimum amount of metal. I wanted it as close to the original shape and size as I possibly could, so I polished it all. Not, not a great idea. Let's take a look at it from different angles. Okay. It does have a couple little pits here and there because I just basically ran out of patience polishing it. And uh, it's considerably smoother than it was. Now you have to remember, in order for me to polish that, I had to polish it right up to the seat. So the entire thing is bigger. It's got a slightly bigger throat. Uh, you know what? Let me see if I can turn my light on. I think that makes a difference. Okay, and I had to polish the chamber. So that whole chamber got a little bit of metal taken off, including the really, really uh, tight side against the valve where it's shrouded. So that's a little bit bigger. Good to keep in mind, right? Okay, uh, you can see I was working on the floor first. It took me a ridiculous amount of time to get the floor decent and that, and the rest of it uh, I didn't take as much time we could say but I mean it looks relatively pretty but I'm not a big fan of pretty pretty don't make it don't make it high performance doesn't make power remember if you got fuel rolling in here that is not going to help break up any of the fuel in fact Take a look at your windshield when you're driving down the highway and it's raining. That's what the fuel's going to do. That's not what you want. Okay? So let's take a look at the flows and uh, see what we got. Okay, so we're looking at these. Okay, disregard those pluses and minuses. Those are from uh, the last time it was done. That's the exhaust. We don't need that at all. Here it is polished. So I put in pluses and minuses, but you have to pay attention to how much it's positive. 0.8 equal 0.9 from 119.3 to 120.2, to 1.1, you know? 139 to 140. 154 to 154.7, 166.3, 166.4, Not really a huge gain. Okay? Not really, not even worth the effort, really. And what's going to happen is it's not going to break the fuel up as much. So you're going to have to feed it more fuel 
to get the same horsepower. So your efficiency is going down. Okay? Let's take a look at our swirl. Minus, minus, plus, plus, minus, 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 minus. All right, it actually has less. If we average it, it's got less swirl than before. Probably because we took out that, uh, it's not quite as shrouded around uh, that back part of the uh, chamber anymore. All right, take a look at our speeds. We can just go look at this page. Right, well, we, look, we look at both, right? That's what we were before. Here's where we are now. Down, up, down, way down. Up, up, equal. Why did we go down so much on the roof? We'll leave that as a question. Okay, now what I'm going to do to this port is right after I turn off this camera, it's going to get the roughest surface texture I can think of. And it's going to get reflowed, and we're going to see what really what really matters. It'll be interesting, guys. I guarantee it. So tune in again tomorrow, and uh, and see what we got. Have a good night, man. Thanks a lot.